Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. We are doing another Supreme Draft. This time it's a Modern Horizons edition. I didn't actually play that much Modern Horizons the first time around, so we are gonna need a little bit of help from chat for this one. What do we get? A Hogak? The Arisen Necropolis? Too spooky. The art is banned. Um... Boo -boo -boo -doo -doo. I feel like we just take the gag. I don't know. Treefork can watch her for you. Hmm. Watcher is really good. You just know is busted, you think? What is a tree folk umbra? Enchant creature gets plus one plus two and assigns comma damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Yeah, tree folk does seem really good. Um and it gets totes armor. Oh, you you talk about the this tree folk. This actually seems fine. Totem armor seems good. The power and toughness are equal to the number of snow permanents you control. Does this actually get big enough? When an ETBs tap target creature and opponent controls that creature, does, does this get big enough? Like, yes, when it when it when it's better for sure. So like, so you think the pick is maybe those two? Oh, it has trample, and it counts itself, so it's always a uh, it's easily a five five or more. Okay, all right, I'm in to take the tree folk and the watcher. Uh, what else did we have here? I remember this is this fetches a con con what is it an artifact? Yeah. The Gak. Was this card any good? When Fairy Seer enters the battlefield, Scry 2. It's often an 8 8. I mean, Frostlings is really good. I just. Having not drafted much Modern Horizons, I don't know how easily available you're going to have. Sarah the Benevolent seems like we should take that. Maybe we end up in not green and take the Sarah. Like, the Watcher can go in that deck no matter what, right? Uh. It's Supreme Draft, or you're guaranteed to get your Snowlands. That's true. That's true. You managed to draft the Goblin deck with two Sling Gang Lieutenants. Most of your games ended up being... That's so sick, Felda. I love it. Sarah was medium, huh? I kind of want to play Sarah, though. I, I I would like to try to make that happen. I don't know what else we take, though. Snow is five color. Sarah's a 4-4 four, four flyer for four. Sarah and Tusker. Crimson Tusker is good. That means that we're not taking a snow land. I could also see taking snow covered plains. Some people are saying it's medium Professor Porkchop. I haven't played with Sarah at all. I think I'm going to take the Tusker. I like that card. Okay. Uh, ooh, Astrolabe seems pretty good. It's snow permanent, it cantrips, and it fixes. Yeah, I think we can sign up for that. I didn't play the set, but I know Astrolabe's good. <laughs> Hmm. Ark, were you were you around when people? Yes, you had to be around when people were calling you Arkham, because they didn't know how to pronounce your name. For for Among Us, and now we're just always on like the Ar Arkham one to it. Yeah, people, other folks <laughs> couldn't call you Ark. I wasn't sure if it was happening after Ark. I think there's a chance that it happened after you had left. So what's the other thing we're taking? Yes, it was Krim, right? Oh my god, that's really good. What's this generous gift? The straight target permanent is control gets a three. Oh, so it's white. Um, it's it's like the white version of that green spell. I forget. Laban Land. I could see Laban Land. That seems decent. Yeah, let's do that. Force of Despair. If it's not your turn, you may exile a black card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Destroy all creatures entered the battlefield this turn. Interesting. Nucleo has renamed our group DM to Arkham's Astrolabe. <laughs> I really like the people calling Ar Arkham. Spring Bloom, please. Which one is the Spring Bloom? Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo. Scuddling. First Lover's Chosen. I don't see Spring Bloom. Land plus trumpeting her. Or, so land looks good. And trumpeting. Oh, we didn't get one. I see. Trumpeting her does make a 3 3. Rebound. Huh. Gravedigger is usually good too. You agree with Moni. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> uh, Mithora's arc. Arc M is just Mark backwards. <laughs> But Arkham, when you don't know how to say it, is just Ar Arkham, like Arkham's Astrolabe. <laughs> yeah, 
Yo, Seth, w- welcome. Yeah, Mercar. <laughs> How's the format? I don't know. So Seth, I didn't play much of this format because this is when I wasn't playing. Ooh, why don't we just take another trumpeting herb and another crozen, dude? Hmm. Come on, we have a lot of fours. Maybe we do want the snow-covered forest. Yeah, this uh, this ab- abominable tree folk is looking kind of nice. Land and cankrix for you. Um. Whenever another snow permanent enters a battlefield under your control, you may have target player mill two cards and it's a two mana 0 4. Sounds pretty good. I meant to take land and like land and cancrix instead of the tusker. And then we also say go bye bye bye, bye to the trumpeting herd. You don't like cancrix? We'll see. I haven't played it with it ever. We'll we'll give it a shot. We have another Arkham <laughs> Arkham's Astrolabe. And uh, Winter's Rest was pretty good, right? Yeah, Rest plus Arkham. When Winter's Rest enters the battlefield, tapped Enchanted Creature, as long as you control another snow permanent. Yeah, and we're drafting snow, so we should be good. Okay, so Winter's Rest Astrolabe looks pretty good. Let me take this and take this and take this. Perfect. <gasps> oh my gosh, we did it! So we can take the Ice Fan Coaddle and another Arkham's Astrolabe. I feel like at this point, if we just take another Astrolabe and we're, we're just gonna have mono cantrips and fixing for five colors and try to just get all the snow payoffs. Sup, Viper! Viper Mag is sup. Mm. Yeah, that does go well with the Cancrix. The, the, the crab. The snow deck will come together literally every draft. Yeah. I mean, it's also true of like every other archetype, right, Mani? It is weird that you're just drafting pack one, pick one so often. What does this wind color even do? God, every time. Look at that. It's just every time. Yeah, we have like, we have three astrolabes for fixing forever. Planes and Rhyme Stag. The Rhyme Stag was good if I remember correctly. Plus two, plus two, as long as another creature entered the battlefield under your control this turn. And it's a snow creature. Yeah, it looks decent. It's a two drop too. Pretty high upside. And uh, the other option is just take a Plains. It does look like we're drafting Astrolabe Tribal. I think Plains might be better than Astrolabe here. Luis love the Rymanold. The Rymanold does look quite good. The generous gift looks not very generous at all. I mean, I guess you're being generous giving them the gift. I don't know. It seems bad. I'm going to take the land. Fallen Shinobi, huh? We can certainly play that. It's not like a snow permanent or anything, but it just seems very good. <laughs> Rymanol is, is very ridiculous, Louise. Aren't you recording a lard, dude? Shinobu's a druid. Oh, Spling Room Druid? This card is very good. When you ETBs, you may sacrifice a land if you do search your library for up to two basic land cards. Is this a basic land? Basic snow land! Yeah, let's do it. So Shinobi and Spring Room Druid. Isn't Archmage's Charm pretty decent? Counter target spell, gain... Oh, weird. There's like a bird, like outside my window. Target player draws two cards, gain control of target non-land permanent with convert, convert a mana cost one or less. Mm, I don't think so. I think the Nut Snow deck was better than the Nut Ninja deck, but the Nut Snow deck has never been, <laughs> was never open. Yeah, I guess that is kind of where we're ending up, huh? Druid and Island. I can see Druid and Island. The Druids are very good with our snow permanents. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. So, Druid Island. Boop. Winter's Rest is not bad. Was a Chiller Pillar any good? Monstrosity 2 for 2 snow. As long as Chiller Pillar is monstrous, it has flying. Why is it time? Madness, there's no, absolutely no reason. Hmm. Chiller Pillar not good enough for the format? Well, we should take Winter's Rest. What's our second pick? Man, as it's really weird because you're just drafting by yourself. So it feels like it was just like lazy. They wanted to move people around the queue. Like, I don't know why they couldn't give you just like a second longer. Since this is basically like a solo draft. Mama Bear. I kind of like the forest. Mama Bear's not that good, right? It's like Exile for 5 makes another bear. That seems like pretty mediocre. I'll take uh, Snow Cover Lane Winter's Rest. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. how's the MHing? Molly, I played like zero 
I played like two drafts, I think, of Modern Horizons. This is when I was going through that phase where I was off Magic Online, and then they came crawling back. They all come crawling back. Uh, we have a lot of Dead of Winters. We've got like two. Oh no, no, Dead of Winter. Excuse me, I thought you meant Winter's Rest. All non-snow creatures get minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of snow permanents you control. Yeah, that seems really good. That's our first pick. Um, what's our second pick? Glacial Revelations. Reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put any number of snow permanent cards. Permanent, so you can get lands with this, right? Among them, I'd put it into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. That seems good. I think that's better than land. This pack is bonkers for you. It does seem like there's a bunch of stuff for me. They should just let me take this entire pack instead of timing my picks for the rest of the draft. Dead of Winter plus Forest. Is that really better than Glacial Revelation? Re Glacial Revelation seems really good. I'm going to take that. Deep Forest Hermit. There's another... Oh, isn't the Blizzard Strix pretty good? When Blizzard Strix enters the battlefield, if you control another snow permanent, exile target permanent other than Blizzard Strix, return that card to the battlefield under snow control at the beginning of the next end step. But yeah, Strixie Void looks pretty good. Um... This pack is nuts. This pack seems pretty good. What's our second pick? Just another Druid, maybe? Druid is very strong. What does a Frost Wall do? Plus two, plus two, until end of turn, active disability only once each turn, and it costs snow. You like Strix Hermit. I mean, Deep Forest Hermit does look very good. Mmm. You can even blink it again. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a combo. Let's do it. Future Sight, eh? Oh, Exclude's gotta be- oh, there's another Winter's Rest again. So we want to take winter Winter's Rest again. We might, might want to take the Snow-Covered Island, maybe. How many packs do we have left? Booster, 14 out of 18. Yeah, I was looking at Island and Rest, too. Me, too. Me, too. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Unsettled Mariner? Changeling. Whenever you are a permanent, you control because the target is full of ability. It's Kirid, basically. Oh, no, it's not Kirid. It's like Baby Frost Titaned. Bekeeling, thank you for the 36. I appreciate that. You guys, can we get some love and hype for this three-year Arisa? Welcome back, friend. This pack kind of sucks. I think it's Island and just maybe... I don't know what the next thing should be. Tusker, maybe? The Squid? I think Tusker. I don't know. This pack is kind of feast. Tectonic Reformation. What is this birthing thing? Create a 2-2 two -two colorless shapeshifter token changeling for 4 mana. I am not, I'm not in for that. That sounds bad. Why always Phage? Why is Phage always get can't? No, I don't understand. Silvers, why? Silvers, explain to me. Mana War? Mana War's okay. <laughs> is it that close though? I don't know, man. So, it's very close to a slur. I feel like it's not... I mean, I guess. I don't know. MTG bot is aggressive, I think, sometimes. Um, <laughs> Whether the storm you gain through your life storm? I, didn't, I had not seen that card before. I think I'm just going to take the forest. We have so many things I care about snow permanence. Like, let's just make... Oh! This one's pretty good. Okay, we're taking that. We could just take another glacial revelation. Yeah, look at that poggers. More like this. Boom, baby. You think you like Hexy and Forest? Yeah, we are there on playables. I can see just like taking more snow-covered lands just to make sure we're always hitting on snow. Um, another, another Arkham's Astrolabe. What is this conifer worm? Tramples? Gets plus X plus X until I'm where X is the number of snow permanents you control. Oh, shit. That sounds really good. Yeah, so we want that. That was the first one. What's the second thing we take? We could go for the fourth astrolabe. Try to play constructed out here. <laughs> Weird. Weird is a real word. I'm going to stand by that till the day I die. Look at how handsome he looks. Umizawa's charm. Did you all see that Milan's out this weekend? I want to watch. I want to see Jimmy in it. 
Yeah, the Cancrix here seems like it would be pretty good in this deck. I don't think we're going to play the Sarah. I guess we have four Astrolabes. Apparently, it's very good. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take another Astrolabe. Monoastrolabe.com. That also makes sure that we can play the Sarah. I heard Mulan is a lot like a, like a martial arts movie, which I thought was like really sweet. I also just want to see Jimmy in it because... Do you, I don't know if y'all remember, at the beginning, at the very beginning of quarantine, Mulan was going to release in theater theaters, and then everything went to shit, obviously. Um, so, there was no chance to see it. I think we can, Sarah. We have the snow-covered plains and four Arkham's astrolabes and double spring, Dru spring bloom druid and uh, double crozen tusker. As far as you're concerned, Mulan releases in December. <laughs> Keck. Mm. I'm not sure, Reggie Bannister. I know Jimmy is like Leap Leaping, I think is his name. He's like the tall dude that trains with Mulan. So this is 26 stuffs. We have four Astrolabes. We got the Cancrix. Mm, the Winter's Rest look good. The... Uh, the Raymond is good. The Quaddle is good. Dead of Winter seems good. We have to cut the Cankirks, unfortunately. It does feel like it's like the one card out of theme for the deck. I need to make a few more cuts. I think, oh wow, is it is it an Astrolabe? I think it's an Astrolabe. And then play 16 lands, maybe. Cankirks is only good in multiples. Jimmy plays Ling, love it. No chance. Blasphemy. Uh, we could play 15 lands. Could cut one Tusker. How about that? And then play 16. All of these. Yeah, like that. Plus, do we even need a planes? Oh, no, we do. We do actually do. Go up here. Probably down down here yeah so this is what did this put us at for forest it puts us at three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that sounds good hey Krogi, welcome for islands we're at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Yo, Judge Dan Games! Gabby Holy Viper, moly, with a 50. Viper, Gabby Viper, Gabby Viper. Thank you. A single druid can cast Sarah. Yeah, it, that's pretty sweet. You just get your snow covered planes and your regular planes. And then for planes, we just need to make sure we have two. But then we have that one, that one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, our mana's really good. All right. Whoa, did I miss a land? I did. I think we can add one more forest then. Perfect. Let's take a screenshot. This deck looks pretty good, but I'm guessing everybody's decks are going to look really good because everybody just got to pack one, pick one Modern Horizons like a million times. 36 times. Or 36 cards, rather. Oh yeah, Debu. It's all Snowlands all the way down. It's probably going to be Mono Snow Mirrors. I heard that Drafting Ninjas is like busted, but I, I never even... I just didn't play the set too much. I know it's a really good set. I just fucking missed the boat. Mm. It does look kind of like the Legacy deck. You were watching Kenji earlier. He played against Mono, Snow, and Ninjas. That sounds about right, Ark. That's funny, Time Twister. <laughs> we do have the ninja to end all ninjas. We did get lucky. This looks pretty good. So we can go keep. Start with Snow Cover Island. Yeah, this one's pretty good. They did nothing. This hand is very good. I know. I heard it was Yargle Day today. Happy Yargirl. Hold on. We've got something for Yargle. For Yar Yargle Day. So this, um, it's one and tap. Okay, so it just cycles.
Hmm. Debu, is it your birthday for reals? Oh, shit. That looks like it could be scary for us. Um... So this has flash. When a DTBs, draw a card. Uh, okay, so I guess I don't know that they'll attack, but I can just play this and then pass. I took your advice. What was your advice, BK? Keep the snow ones in your hand as much as possible for Raymond. Uh, what is? Isn't it? Doesn't it care about creatures? Yeah, I thought so. Fountain of Icar. Add one man of any color. Fountain of Icar becomes a 3-3 Dinosaur Artifact creature until end of turn for 3 mana. Oh, was that your suggestion? Because I hope they attack just for to send a message. That would have been sweet. Another Astrolabe. Ooh, Hexy Boy. So, wait, what does this have a thing on the bottom? What is this triangle? It looks like an Illuminati triangle. What are they trying to tell me? We can have Hexy Boy go to... It's auto-yield. Oh, they've auto-yielded that they're going to mill me. I see. That's new technology. I, I had not seen that magic online technology. So we can level up to th level 3 to make it a 4-4 four, four protection from instance. I think we can just... Yeah, I think so, Arik. So I think we're just going to play Mana War and bounce their thing. It seems these... Boo -doo, boo -boo -doo -doo. Make sure that we don't get milled by stupidity. Sure. That would have been a nicer one to Man of War, sadly. Um, let's just play Hex Drinker, level it up. Wow, we did it. Protection from instance, baby. Um, it's a 4-4. Four, four. I can attack with a Coatl, I think. Must have missed hard to have to play the fountain. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a shame that we only have a Hex Grinders. Oh, come on, get out. Are you serious? That's really stupid. That was dumb. Kind of just want to do the same thing again, though. If they have another way to kill it, like if they have a sorcery way to kill it, that's kind of annoying. We can play an Astrolabe, then do the same play with a Hex Drinker. Seems fine. Okay. Sarah. Creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one, a ton of turn. Create a 4-4 four, four White Angel creature token with flying and VG. Yeah, I think I'll I'll hold back the quaddle too. I just I want to make sure I don't die to nonsense. I still think we just play the hex drinker and level it up, and then next turn maybe we play the Sarah. Okay. Oh my God, Mani, <laughs> the truth hurts. When sometimes you get called out, man. Winter's rest on my quaddle. Why didn't they do that on the hex drinker? Oh, get the fuck out, man. That was really sad. Oh, it would fall off if I give it protection from everything. You're right about that. All right, I'll just take six and block the mana war. <sighs> okay, let's make a play that leaves us... Oh, God, if only we had the stupid Coatl! Ah! Okay, 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 it's fine. We can go... Mako! Thank you for the 13. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. We are kind of breaking on some stuff. Hex and plus level and rest. Yeah, I can see that. Just like rest an elephant and... The problem is it doesn't become a 4-4, four four, right? Because you play it and then you have to up upgrade it. Yeah, we're, we're short one to do that. 
We could play Sarah make a 4-4. Four -four. If they have another mana war, like that's pretty bad. Our Sarah just dies. Um, we could play Springbloom Druid and rest something. And then we can chump with a Druid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Narbly. And I can sack a forest to get some better stuffs. Mm, yeah. I'll sack forest and get snow covered swamp probably and another snow covered island maybe snow covered forest we already have three forests and two astrolabes i guess wait it doesn't really matter you make a four four instead of hex and rest maybe it doesn't matter because we have all the astrolabes uh, it is too late at this point for me to change the path I'm just planning on chumping that next turn. I think though, because we got to do the Spring Bloom Druid, it does mean that next turn we can play both Sarah and some other nonsense. Ba -ba 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 oh shit, what is this? Oh shit, no, not like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh god damn it. The winters rested my my other creature that was winters. You could chump for post Sarah. I thought I was going down to life. It could have been worse, but it was still really bad. What do we do? Yeah, I guess Astrolabe into Winter's Rest. Yeah, I can see that. Yes, and they have Mana War in hand. Yeah, oh, Dead of Winter. Yeah, I mean, Winter's Rest would have been good too, because we could have done that on the Shinobi. I think we're just dead, sadly. We can go, like, Sarah make a 4-4. Four, four. They just have the Mana War, though. Yeah, we're dubs. Well, the Ninjutsu does good. Let's keep that in mind. Can Revelation hit Dead of Winter? I don't think we have enough mana to cast everything, though, would be the problem. Oh, it's not a permanent. Also, then apparently not, also. I don't really see a reason to add those in, so let's just go back in. This is the other thing that's weird about Supreme Draft. You just don't even have a sideboard. I don't really get it. Yeah, we. I, I believe we were extremely... What's the word? Uh, mega dubs? Snow deck doesn't have a sideboard because you take so many lands. Yeah, it's true, but also I think in my experience in Supreme Draft, you just didn't have much of a sideboard, period. Less so than like a normal deck, I think. Sure. Astrolabe on Astrolabe Mirrors. Uh, time to play a Watcher. Let's play this. Let's make blue. Boop. Winter's Rest and nothing else. I guess Winter's Rest in order. <laughs> It's easier to take lands in a four. Yep. Yep, 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 Viper. That's really good. Rhyme Tender on top another target snow permanent. That card seems really strong. So I want to save the Mana War for... Um, it seems like they very much have Elephant, Elephant, elephant uh, whatever the token Elephant Generator is. Yeah, for the elephant tokens. That's exactly it. Hey, Exo, welcome. It's good to have you here. You're having a good one. So let's play Glacial Revelation. We got Tree Folk, Snow Covered Forest, Snow Covered Island. Wow, that was not bad. Three mana, draw three. You like to see that? Only three scam. I, I was pretty happy. I don't know. Were we expecting to get like all of them? <laughs> Oh, maybe Sarah sucks against their deck. They're all on Mana Wars. They're Mana Wars all the way down. Mm 
Yeah, I want to... So I think next turn we're going to go Tree Folk to tap the Rhyme Tender. Oh, they attacked. Okay, so Tree Folk to tap the Spring Bloom Druid. Hey, Magic Free. Welcome. Yeah, it's going to be Tree Folk into Weirm is the plan. So we already have, what, green, white. They all look the same. The Snowlands all look so similar. I don't like it. Um, let me get the other snow thing going since we do have the thing. This guy, yeah. Equal to snow permanence you control. Yeah, chat, you weren't kidding. This thing is enormous. Basically, this format is all mana war. It's the main reason I said Serum is medium. You're right about that time twist, right? It's just hard to imagine that this card would be medium because it's obviously a powerful card, but then, like, it's mana wars all the way down. Yo, Chili Nana is welcome. It's good to see you. How are you? How is your day going? Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo. Yeah, Beer Mystic, he's, he's out there. Speaking the, preaching the good word of Man of War. Man of War is a very fun card. Deep Forest Hermit. We've got some of the same stuff. Beep, 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 beep. So. What do we do here? This is kind of tricky. We can play Snow Covered Forest into Astrolabe, and that makes our Tree Folk an 8-8. Eight, eight. If we bounce a squirrel, they can only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They'll still have enough to kill my Tree Folk, but we'd basically trade with our whole team. And I might send with a Watcher, and then they can Shinobi. You have a casual deck that's all Mana Wars? That's sweet. But I don't know if that's better than just playing the worm. I think I'm going to try to attack with a tree folk. I think it's worth it. So let me play snow. Greenies! All right, let's get this. Let's get this dogger some greenies. Thank you, Pinky. Jules, come here. Jules, come here. Boy, sit down. Shake. Up high. Good girl. <laughs> she always sniffs it for a second. It's very cute. Um, let me play my snow-covered forest. Because I'm going to attack with both. And if they don't watch out, I'm going to shinobi them. Oh, wait a second. I was planning on mana warring, wasn't I? This is... Mmm, they got scared. They got scared. Oh, uh, don't worry. I am planning on it. Really? Well... That's funny, Judge Dan. This, this block is wild, but I think I'm supposed to just let the snowman through. You still do it? I guess we do get to frost links it afterward again. I do love shinobiing people. All right, let's do it. Boom, baby. Get him. Get him. Okay, so I got that. And then also... Uh... That was a sad hit. We can play a Hex Drinker. Yeah, that, that was like pretty, pretty embarrassing. We had to play the Snow Forest too, so that our thing was bigger also. Oh, feels bad, man. Wait, what is this? They're gonna hit me for a million here. That, that hit was really bad. Oh no, what are they playing? My god. Ah! What is this? Target creature gets minus six minus until the turn. Switch target creature's power and toughness until the turn and entwines. 
Oh, they killed my ex drinker. I guess that would have killed it. It wouldn't have killed it always, but it did kill it just now. Mmm. Interesting. Future sites so my shinobi hits are better. That's funny. So they are going to have to chump. And then what's the next thing we can do? We can... Julie. Hi. What's going on, puppy? Hi, Gooby. Hi, Fuzzy Wuzzy. It's good to see you. We could go just like Winter's Rest, um, their Rhyme Tender or something, and Mana War and hit with Shinobi. I can Mana War away the Squirrel and Winter's Rest the Spring Bloom Druid, so that way if they want to make sure to stop the hit from the Shinobi, they have to chump with Deep Forest Hermit. That's, that's kind of reasonable. We can mana work plus tree folk this turn. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. So let's bounce the squirrel. And then we'll tree folk the spring bloom druid. And then that way they have to... Forgot about this thing over here. Yeah. And that way if they want to not take the hit from the shinobi, they have to chump with a deep forest hermit, which would be good for us. Or they could just use yellow it, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, Molly. It's taken too many years. Hi. They chumped. Good. Good, good, good. That was good for us. Forgot about our four mana aided tramp with Frostling's ability. <laughs> this card is really stupid. I. When you guys were talking about how good it was, I, I didn't envision how good it was really going to be. Ah! Not my, my creatures! Alright, so... My creatures! Get this. Get this. Also this. Oh, it could be going better. I mean, we might die. We we did just get... How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can't play Sarah and Blizzard Strix. This is... It's target permanent. Other than Blizzard Strix. So we could... Sarah, tick down, make an angel. Blizzard Strix, bounce Sarah. After they attack Sarah, and then juke them. Doesn't that sound like pretty good? I think that's the play. You could just rep lethal with this thing. This thing does rep lethal. Yeah, maybe I do just play conifer worm. Yeah, 11 snow. Okay, and it has trample. Holy shit. All right, so I'll have the Blizzard Strix just in case. Yeah, I'm, I have the Blizzard Strix so that if they have something to kill it, I can just uh, blink it in response. Oh, we can activate twice. That's right. That's wild. 11 snow permanence. These cards seem so broken. <laughs> you like my value-oriented play that misses lethal? I have a lot of plays like that, Molly. I love the like value oriented play that could make you can make you slowly win the game when you have lethal on board. <laughs> Keep up pump so they can kill it. Oh, click, we've got uh Arkham's Astrolabes. So that's five.
So what's their plan to just firebolt my thing and I respond? Sure. Are they going to try to future sight into something? They drew a swamp and now they have mountain on top. They played mountain and now they have crab. I kind of feel like they're dobs. <sighs> what is this? Endling. Endling gains medicine until end of turn. Endling gains death touch until end of turn. Endling gains undying until end of turn. Endling gets plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one until end of turn. Oh my god, money. <laughs> Why didn't they play the endling? <laughs> I mean, it's just with Astrolabe, I guess you just get to free roll that, huh? This crab is going kind of ham. Oh shit. Magmatic sinkhole. Deals 5 damage to target creature or planeswalker. It's an instant. And they can cast it. But they can't really beat me, right? Because I just, I activate once they respond with a sinkhole. Yeah, and I just pump twice and I think we just win. How much is it? It's four to activate. One, two. Yeah, don't worry, I will I will not do that. So there's the first activation, and this is their window. <laughs> yeah, try not to play yourself. We did it. That would be a very weird spot to end up there, but I guess I could see a world where you do that. So one sec, chat. I ordered some groceries, but I need to tell Reptera and Luis. I ordered some prime now. Can and it was not busy when it shows up. Go put the perishables away, please. I think it's supposed to get here. When is my groceries? When do they arrive? Mm -hmm. When does my grocery when does my grocery thing get here? That's gas, Arik. I love that. Uh, banana, there's not going to be viewer among us later. We are going to be doing viewer among us on f Friday. So tomorrow with my stream, you do have to be in the discord and the voice channels are subbed. So those are, that's the only restriction. Uh, may maybe we're supposed to take the planeswalker out. What do we, oh, this hand looks bad. I'm going to mull it. This hand looks good. I'm going to put back one of the non snow lands, just like the island maybe. Sub Among Us. Is this Cold Nap Draft? No, this is Modern Horizon Supreme Draft. Honestly, like the names for a lot of these things, it's like they're running out of names. Let's play the Astrolabe. Nice. My opponent probably is like, how does this person always have Ask Arkham's Astrolabe in their opening hand? But we just had so many. Second one of these. Nothing else. Oh my god, these man, I, my mom deals with a lot of like sinus pressure and oh my god, I feel for you. That sounds super rough. Okay, so since they didn't do anything interesting, I'm just going to go forest. Oh, hello. That's interesting. That one's actually interesting. Forest into spring bloom druid, but I'll sack the forest to get snowlands. And we can get a... Snow covered swamp and yeah, Matt. So far, it looks like we're all gonna be playing the same the same nonsense. We can take a snow covered forest. 
since we have double white between this and that. What time is the Among Us stream tomorrow? Um, I think like around, what is it? Two Pacific, so three my time is what I'm aiming for. And then we're going to do Fall Guys first and Among Us, or excuse me, I think we're going to do Among Us first, Fall Guys later. Like half and half. They've been a snow-covered island and an astrolabe. Oh no, Aziz man, that sounds awful. I hate it. Might as well. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun uh, community day, Money, It's gonna be goo, Gucci. I don't think we need to use a dead of winter yet. Let me just play snow-covered island and elefante. Yeah, though those are honestly like 2020 has been such garbage, but it has delivered with some really good games. Like I feel like this year we've had some games that have been awesome, like really awesome. Even though Among Us is like an old game, but it's cool that it's gotten so popular. They binned another Astrolabe and well now they can see why we had so many Astrolabes. That's funny. Oh, my tree folk! Ugh. Yes, Dead of Winter actively doesn't kill the thing we want and kills the Elephantas that we do want. Future side, huh? We might have to bounce the, the Cancricks. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you opponent? So the the problem is they're definitely going to block my elephant. So it's not going to work out the way I want it to. But I guess next turn we can just set it up so that we do. Unless maybe they don't block. I just think we're supposed to mana war here though. Try to get rid of the can the the can cricks. At least for a little bit. Oh, is that a ninja? Oh, I see the ninja emoji deck. It looks good. Let me play that. And the next turn, we'll be able to get in with Shinobi. <gasps> oh, shit. It's on top of their library. It's on top of their library. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Not like these. Oh my god, no! What do we do now? They're just gonna put Elephant in front of Cancrix and then like Mana War on Mana War. I think we just play a Tusker. Because everything else just dies. Attack and hope? I, the problem with attacking and hoping is that we just allow them to Shinobi us back to back. Like, I, I don't actually think... The, the hope plan is really bad because they're just, they're just gonna block. And then they can just shinobi us. Because, like, even if we don't block the Cancrix, I don't actually think attacking... Bashing is not good. I think we just have to play the Tusker. Try to set up so that we hit the get the first shinobi hit going. How many snow permanents we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, I'm just dying to milling, too. Winter's Rest, the Trumpeting Herd, and the uh, Raymond Feels like, oh shit, there's the Winds of Abandon. We're dead. And rip. I mean, I guess we can cast Dead of Winter next turn. Uh, Plains and Island. Oh, how many did they do? Three? I'm at 14. I can Dead of Winter and then Shinobi. Dead of Winter only kills Man of War. Maybe we just play Shinobi like face up. Yeah, like, we just cast Shinobi and then we'll have the Strix ready to blink something.
That's true. Oh no, the hex drinker just got milled. Everything that we had that was good. No, no, no. Wait, what are you talking about with Mangon? Strix their shinobi before combat damage, then you have a free shinobi? That's not how that works on thin ice. Yeah, I think this I'm going to do. When on thin ice enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until on thin ice leaves the battlefield. Yeah, I'm going to flicker their land in response. I guess I could wait. Oh no, what did they do? They're floating some manas. Okay. Maybe we could ambush them, yeah. Unfortunate. Me too, feline. I, I've, I've, I've kept doing that also. Oh man, here it comes. Rough shape, man. Let's kill the snow permanent. I have 11 left. So I guess I still have the dead of winter. Sarah. And spring bloom druid. Oh, I have to block the mana where there so they can't bounce it. I mean, I, we're just dead. So we can dead of winter and then they get to keep this and then I'm just going to die to the crab. Yeah, no, none of it matters, sadly. That's rough. I think our deck is really good, but we didn't get there. And uh, yeah, we're daubers. All right, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. Let me be right back. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. All right, I will be right back. Let me put my burb screen. I'm going to play Nada while I'm gone. Burb. Ooh, ooh. Hi, Nucleo. Oh, man, chat. A real tragedy. Went to my kitchen to find some coffee, and there's no coffee. And I'm tired because we've been staying up till like 2 in the morning playing fucking Among Us in the Losing It lounge. I know, no coffee, man. I searched high and low. No coffee, Jules. Oh God, no coffee, panic. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Zergling, thank you for the 22. No cafecita. So I do know we have like stock cold brew coming in the in the order, the prime now order. But I don't know when it's coming up. And, oh my God, I am like actually tired just because we keep staying up till two in the morning like idiots. We've been doing bad. Chernob Gavinald. Hi, Slubars. Let's see. When is this going to show up? I need the coffee now. Uh, your orders. Let's see. Your order is being prepared. I don't think it's even close to showing up. Oh, no. That's a good question. Oh shit. oh shit! Oh shit! Thank you, chat. I didn't even see it. Jules, I almost missed it. I almost missed it. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> so we have Astrolabe into Astrolabe. Maybe Dead of Winter's bad in this format. I, we can keep this though. So this goes no covered forest into Astrolabe's. I don't really know how to keep track of what we really have, <laughs> Molly. It's uh, it's difficult. Another astrolabe. Yeah, that's true, Molly. I mean, predicated on having a lot of snow permanence, but it does make me feel like maybe it's worse than it actually normally is because you're just running into more astrolabe. Hmm. More astrolabe. Hi, Jules. She's right here, the paparita. Look at her. She's doing some stretches. Hi. Hi, paparita. I 
I could have cast a third because you can float mana through another astrolabe. Oh, does astrolabe turn your mana into snow mana? Is that true? Wow. I didn't know that. That's really stupid. Why does that make any sense? That shouldn't make that shouldn't happen, right? Amorphous axe. Equipped creature gets plus three plus one is every creature type. I did not know that. That's really weird. <laughs> nice mana war goobs. Um let's just play a snow covered island. Look at me and all my permanence. NBD. We could just play that Mana War and have it bounce to itself just for kicks. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Frozen. You are not wrong about that. King of the Pride. Other cats you get, get plus two plus one. Oh, excuse me. Other cats you control. Okay. I accept. Mm, I really want to Shinobi them, so it feels like maybe we should just Snowman to tap that. And then we can shinobi them. It's extremely frosty on my side of the board. Stay frosty, my friends. Look at the 6-6. Six -six. The bad boy. Hi, Jules Lita. Yeah, get him. Nice. Oh, that's right. It counts itself, too. This card seems so busted. I wish we could have gotten more. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, Viper Max, they're like, what the hell? Four mana Frostling, 7-7 seven, seven, Trample? What? Reprobation. Enchant creature, it loses all abilities, and it's a coward! Oh, it's a coward with base power and toughness. Oh, one. Oh, man. Opponent is gonna hate what's about to happen. They are gonna hate it. Did I do black? Boop. Got him! <laughs> I got a swamp and a plains. One of them is basic, the other one's also basic. Yeah, basic. I'll take the swamp, I guess. Frosty boy, Shinovers. Yeah, that was really bad. I guess we mana screwed them a little bit because they probably needed those colors. <laughs> Dude, Molly, I've hit with Shinobi so many times and it's always land, land. Stupid. All right, so now they have to set up some defense against Shinobi, but I have a backup plan. They, I mean, they know about my tree folks, so I guess it's not really backup plan. They're probably going to play around that. The worm that gets, that evolves, sure. It's foil too. Yo, Jester, it's good to see you. How was your weekend, dude? I don't think I've seen you all week. I'm not sure if I have. I hope you had a good weekend. I guess it's almost the weekend again. Oh, that's just not going to work out for them. So are they on the chump with uh, King of the Pride plan? I suppose so. We just tree folk tap, right? The slug. Seems good. Let's not play a land yet. You were sickles up the weekend, first time seeing. Oh man, that sounds awful, dude. It was off of a gas station taquito. Oh my god, that's like the worst thing to get sick from, too, because like. It's not even something that's like, wow, at least I had this delicious meal and then I got food poisoning and that. It's just like a gas station taquito. <laughs> I remember um, I once got food poisoning from eating ground beef tacos at a Mexican place. And I swear it made me not want to eat ground beef for like years to come. 
Uh, Magic Freak, yes. It's in a different server, though on Friday we're going to play in my server. Real talk, we've all taken our chances with Gas Station Taquito. Yes. Hard agree. Gas Station Taquitos are not bad, but like it's really not good value to get sick from them. If you get a bad, you want to avoid that food again for like four to five years. Yeah, that's what happened to me with the ground beef tacos that I had at this like loose Mexican place I used to go to all the time. And um, yeah, I stopped going. Luis has a really funny story about how he went to a loose Mexican place also. And I think everyone except for him got food poisoning because they all ordered the same thing. They all ordered the same tacos. And Luis ate the same shit as everybody else did, but he's the only person who didn't get sick. So forever after that, nobody wanted to go anymore. And uh, Luis was always like, hey, you guys want to go to that taco place? And people were like, manga is. Luis, Luis really does never get sick. He's very healthy, dude. Sounds very sus. Extremely. Extremely. You ate street food all over Beijing and then I got sick at a nice sit down restaurant. Get out. That's really funny. Do imposters get sick? Presumably no. Because I feel like I, they, the imposters are like aliens. That's why they can do the oxygen thing and like it doesn't matter, right? This is another target creature control against protection from colorless or from the color of your choice. So we might want to just winter's rest this thing. I guess it never protects itself. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that giver to sleep too. Good night, sweet giver. You had a good run. That's funny, booty. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is a snow permanent too. Love it. So the next turn we can play probably the Mana War or we could also go Astrolabe Watcher. That's funny, booty. <laughs> it's it's hard for pizza almost always is like fine. I got some actually, I'm gonna have some pizza for dinner tonight. I had some pizza I ordered the other day. It's pretty good. Imagine all the pizza and imposters running around. Yeah, Slowbars is one of those like super thin pizzas, like oven baked. Once me and five coworkers went to achieve- I just- I just told that story, Louise! I just told that story! I knew about it! You degen. You degen. You're ordering pizza? Love it. Alright, so this is the plan. I think we don't need to play the Man War yet. I think we can just go snow-covered thing and play Arkham's Astrolabe, see what we draw, and then play Watcher, and then play the snow-covered forest. And when this thing comes down, it's gonna be enormous. Yeah, Crab Spark. I think you can always get this deck, basically, because um, this is Supreme Draft. So it's like always open, basically. Let me play Snow Covered Plains in these two. I like Thin Crust a lot. It's really good. So what do we want from the Watcher? I like the Conifer Worm. That card's like the biggest banger, I think. It's five mana. Winter's Rest is not bad, obviously. Glacial Revelation is like a draw three or four. I like the Weirm. Yes, Jules? Just got surprised. I think. Oh, look at that puppy. Hi, right, good puppy. Any order. Weirm is a real word. I will I will fight for that till the day I die. The worm in Supreme Draft is absurd. I just had a game, Wolfsark, where the we could activate the worm like three times for eleven permanents each time. It was just obscene. Pizza pot pie. Is that just that just sounds like deep dish? Do you think do you think Julie responds to to Weirm? Jul. Weirm? Weirm? Weirm, Julie? <laughs> She's just responding to my tone of voice. Plague Engineer. As Plague Engineer enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type your opponent's control gets minus one, minus one. They're gonna choose human. Horrible. I got my Weirm back though. Uh, both the verb supreme draft is when you just basically do pack one pick ones all the way down. It's kind of weird. Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo. Oh snap! Hold your horses. 
Are you snow? No. Are you snow? No. Are you snow? No. Dead of Winter's looking kind of sweet here. Just like eat their entire board. I mean, I guess I could get them to extend just like a little bit more. I could play Snow Covered Forest, uh, the Tree Folk, and play Plague Engineer because this one's snow anyway. Um... And that just buys us a tiny bit of time. They have to extend more to this board because I have a 7-7. Seven, seven, and then we can dead up winter and kill their board. I delete them. Where is just European like a fancy dragon? Yeah. Yes, it's it's exactly. It's a dragon without wings. That's what I keep telling people. <laughs> but people don't believe me. And then I looked it up to prove that this was a real word. And all I found was on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia. Jules, come here. Come here, come here. I want to bet you. Oh, come here. Or could you be like that? Play a two drop. Do it. Play a two drop. Oh, snap. I don't want to do that this turn, though, because... I'm so tempted to do it, though. Yeah, for reals, money. I am my my body is ready. I think I might hold the blizzard strix to blink the snowman or something. We could also just play the Wyrm. Wyrm is looking pretty good here. We are a mythology fantasy, a huge limbless and wingless dragon or dragon like creature, a sea serpent. See, I know. I know, but then I lo I really looked it up, and people seem to agree that it was not actually um, a real word. I think it's like some sort of like mythology-ish word, but it's not actually real. They didn't attack. Surprised about that. Okay, it's time to did a winter. One, two, three, four, five. So I can't do that in Shinobi, unfortunately. It's archaic but real. That's all I need. That's really all I need. Da da winter. This snow deck looks so much more busted than whatever blue black or white black thing my opponent's doing over there. We won the match. Wait. Did we really win the match? Oh yeah, we did. We we won game one really quickly. Origin and history borrowed from English. Wyrm noun wyrm. Poetic. Dragon. Particularly one without legs or wings. Poetic. Snake. Particularly a large one. <laughs> there you go. Wyrm is a real word, chat. You saw it here first. Yeah, that did not seem like a real deck in this format. Especially given how... Given what I saw my, my first round opponent do, and then what my other opponents were doing, it didn't feel like their deck was like actually competitive. I think so, Mani. Our first match was really close. Like Our first match could have gone either way. It felt like we both had good decks and good cards, good card quality, and just generally good stuff going on. Feels like it's pretty easy to get a busted deck in this format if you don't, you're kind of wrecked. Agreed. I feel like you're almost always gonna... You have to run really bad not to get, like, into the archetype you want since you're always pack one, pick one -ing, but I guess it's possible. Like, it, it's all within the same set, so it's not even... Ooh, there we go. I'm not sure, Booty. I didn't play this format that much. I know that the... People have been saying that the Snow deck and the Ninjas deck is are both pretty good. But I don't have a ton of experience drafting it. Oh, Sponzi agreed with that. Honestly, Sponzi, like, I'm not even sure how much Modern Horizons I'm going to be playing just because I didn't like Supreme Draft for Ravnica very much. It felt very... I don't know. 
I don't even know what to call it. It was just, yeah, it's just not, I don't know. Maybe Supreme Draft is just like not that good. Maybe that's the answer. It's just maybe medium. Hmm, this hand's not keepable. I think if they brought back MH1 draft, I would draft it. Like this format does seem fun. This this is a this format does the kinds of things that I like doing in formats. Just high bullshit. I think I'm gonna put back the Blizzard Strix. We're really far from casting that. Ba -da -ba -ba. It would be a shame if we audible into Among Us. I am not gonna audible into Among Us, Luis. I I need to stop staying up so late. I'm actually like tired. Like, I haven't been sleeping enough because I keep fucking staying up till 2 in the morning watching, watching slash watching you guys play slash myself playing Among Us. It's bad. I feel like it's wrecked my sleep schedule. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. It's true, Johnny. <laughs> Alright, they're not doing anything, so let me play Astrolabe. Okay, let me just play snow covered this and nothing else. Luis, what do you think? Are you going to end up streaming Among Us tonight? I think people would love that. We'll probably rest that since that's a mana dork. Let's start with this though. Mana War would have been good a second ago. All right, let's go. There is no correlation, Molly. It, Luis is just obsessed with the game and he's just jamming. That's that's what's happening. Let me go these three into Sack Forest. Get another forest and... Yeah, he really does in Sponzi. My god. He's been, he's been going hard at the Among Us thing. Like, real hard. Mm. Mangas apparently hit the number one game on Twitch today. Also, they tweeted out that they use server fix. Oh no, that doesn't work anymore. I hope we still get to play. That'll be rough. I'm gonna get another snow covered forest, I think. That's so cool. Can you imagine the devs dealing with this stuff? Like, they made the game two years ago. They like probably thought that that's that's it. Like this is what their game was gonna be like, and this is their expectations for it. And then it just like explodes in popularity the way it did. It's wild. Are you serious, Lovers? Damn. There's one programmer credited for Among Us and two artists. I can't believe it. This is really incredible. Uh, they might have a counter here, but I just want to jam. Love it. I saw that today, Slubars. It was like Spanish, Spanish streamers. Because I was listening to them and even, I swear, like Spaniard Spanish is hard to understand, even like as a Latino. And I was like trying to listen to them and I was like, wow, I'm not following. <laughs> oh no, the conifer worm. All right, I think we have to kill them on the back of this mana war and attacking them a lot. So let's go one, two, three. Play snow. We need something though. Like we're not actually hitting for a whole lot here. Um both dokomoi it just sounds it's not the same as like british english and just regular english i think the difference is more pronounced wait why what happened why didn't they play the weirm This is hella sus. Do they have a blizzard strix, maybe? I mean, I still think we're supposed to jam. Or coaddle. Yeah. 
Nope, they were off it. Yeah, I was about to slay. They they decided to, they were off it, <laughs> which is okay by me. No, it's not actually hard. So, okay, so the Spanish or the, like, la all the Latino Spanishes sound relatively similar. So, yes, like, it is different to hear, like, a Salvadorian than to hear, like, an Argentinian, but they're still kind of the same-ish. The Spaniard Spanish is, like, the one that's so different than anything else. It is... That's the one that's really hard for me to understand. I can obviously understand them. But when they were just, like, all talking over each other watching the Spanish stream, even I was like, oh my god, I'm, like, having a hard time following this. When Fairy Seer enters the battlefield, Scry too. Yeah, that's kind of... That's a good analogy, Mondragon. It's true, Deca. <laughs> Do high IQ for anybody in this stream. Yeah, both the bird. We, we we picked up a lot of snow land, so we have a very, very small sideboard. I don't think I'm going to winter's rest any... Oh, I will winter's rest that thing. Ooh, we got the tree folk. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Yeah, Magic Freak, that's exactly the thing. It is, it is very, they're very different from each other. Yeah, so the, the people that I was watching, they weren't speaking a dialect. It was just, holy fish moly. Wow. Ugh. So, I, God, this is bad. All right, we're going to have to try to juke that soul herder. So I think the plan is play the spring bloom druid and sack the forest to try to get more lands in play. Yeah, we're in. It only blinks other, so we're going to have to winter's rest it. But not until after we tap it with abominable tree folk, I think. So let's get, since we don't have astrolabe, we actually have to pay attention to our mana sources. Let's get a black source and a green source. We don't need a white source yet. Our sweeper would be very good. You've heard that Brazilian Portuguese is very different than Portuguese from Portugal. Yes, I understand that that is the case too. As I, ooh, Pedro friend seems to be backing up that claim. I am just not going to block. Hey, Hidden Ryu, welcome. I think this will be more useful as a blocker later down the line. Scour all possibilities. Scry to then draw a card. Okay. I don't even think the Shinobi Hell Mirror is going to work because the, the Soul Herder is going to blink something. It's going to blink the Watcher and they're going to draw a card. Oh, they might leave themselves open to get hit by a Shinobi though. Because I thought they were just going to blink the Rhyme Tender, but they might just blink the Watcher to draw the card. And then it enters the battlefield tapped again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. They are! They're getting greedy. Okay, 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 that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Amazing. Okay, we, we needed them to get super greedy here. And then we need to go for the Shinobi play. It's gonna be a Hail Mary, baby! Okay, we need to, we need to draw well here. Um, yeah, that's true, Time Twister. You, they, it's not, it's definitely not greedy. It's just, they didn't know that this was going to happen to them. Come on, I need some good hits. Oh, get the fuck out! <sighs> Why? So bad. Really? They're like a soul, stuff like soul herders, but no. No, fairy seer instead. Bottom, bottom. We need our wrath. Play forest. <sighs> has this shinobi gotten anything good in this entire draft? I don't think it has.
I legitimately don't think we've hit with a shinobi once. Yo, Quiet Fae, welcome. Land and Fairy Seer, huh? Around one, the bonus shinobi was good. Yep, that's the only one. Nikolai, it's good to see you. I'm doing awesome. I'm a little tired because we've been staying up to like 2 a.m. playing Among Us every night. Oh, I ran a coffee at my house. Like, it's just like this confluence of how could this happen? <laughs> but, you know, life's good outside of that. How about you? No, don't worry, crap. I, I think the Hail Mary was 100% worth going for. We just needed... Oh, get out. No way. Now they have a lot of snow permanents, too. Like, my wrath isn't even good anymore. Being Dobbs. Are they going to blink the snowman? Are they going to blink the watcher? Nah, they're blinking the snowman. So they're going to lock down my shinobi, too. Seems smart. I think we're just dead, right? I mean, I guess we could... Winters rest the soul herder and then play the tree folk to tap their tree folk. Wrath still gets there. Wrath is still good. You've been really enjoying the Among Us streams. I like to watch the VODs. Oh, for sure. The, the, the imposter games are the best ones, Nikolai. We had a really, really, really good one yesterday. There was one game I played with Luis and one I played with BK where the games were awesome. Chad, I'm going to try to... Oh, hold on. We don't even have the Astrolabe out, do we? Okay, so yeah, I'm just playing Astrolabe and hoping for the best, I think. How often does Imposter win? You can tweak the settings so the village is more or less favored, but it, it's really variable. I guess now I can play the tree folk. Play my snow covered forest. Theirs is a 5-5. Five, five. Mine's going to be a uh, 7. And then we can also play a Hex Drinker, maybe, just for blocks. Seems awful. So let's do blue off of this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that sounds about right, Luis. Um, maybe we want to keep the uh, Tree Folk tab, just in case. Not give him any attacks. Play Hex Drinker. Yes, Hex Drinker for blocks is like one of the sadder things I've said this year. Is Hermit just better to live longer? Maybe. Maybe Hermit is just better. I kind of felt like they can't attack through the snowman, but... Or the tree folk. I think so too, Slurvars, but the nice thing about that is we kind of get to tweak the settings. Oh shit, that's good tech. No, we're done. Deep Forest Hermit doesn't save us from that either. The game that I won with, late game triple kill after getting Ben White's voted off at the beginning was sweet. Yes, that one's really good. Nikolai, did you see the one where Luis was AFK, and um, what is it? Jorbs was his teammate and they were playing together. Let me see. I tried to clip it yesterday, but it, I got a, I kept getting the server error. Yes, that 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 one was so amazing. That game was like truly incredible. It was two days ago, but I made a clip out of it. Let me see if I can find it or I highlighted it rather. There's a highlight. I, I try to highlight it. Let me look at my clips. Clips of my channel. No, I want highlights. Where are channel video video producer maybe? Does it actually work? See, I still get the server error, and this one also has server error. Hmm. 
This hand is a little sketchy. Yeah, it doesn't work. I, I just have to make a new one. I try I try to clip two of them. I clipped this other one and it also doesn't work. But it never loads, look. I don't know why. Twitch is being extremely sus. What the hell? So the one where you and Luis killed like, oh my god, Nikolai, that one was really good. That was from yesterday. That was one of the better games we played yesterday. Do we keep this? We need a blue source. We have a lot. Let's keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit arc. I think this hand's pretty good. If we hit an astrolabe, we're just like game. What if we just get, you know, snow covered island? That would be incredible. <laughs> That's true, Nucleo. We are gonna do that. Which game was this? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Yeah. Oh! That, okay, we're gonna watch that game after this. That game is really good. I know what that game is. That's a really, really, really good game. Yeah, I like the third map a lot, Slubars. I think venting in the third map is kind of rough. Because I feel like all the vents are, like, in sight of... Did I ever get the highlights to work? Nah, Ryan, I, I never got it to work, sadly. I think I want to try on a different computer. I was on my, like, crappy old computer. I bet if I do it here, it works. It's weird because I feel like it's on the Twitch end, but I, I suspect that my bad computer had something to do with it. It was a really good game, Nikolai. It was really, really good. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. All right. Arkham's Astrolabe. Fuck. I can't, I can't believe that early kill on Narbly. I thought we were going to get found out. I was so nervous. Sure, I accept. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Narbly. You're the best. Let me pop that out so I can have it, so I can highlight it later. Amazing. Yes, I was like, oh my god. I just, I just thought, I was so excited to be imposters with Luis, and I just thought we blew it. All right, yeah, we'll watch those, uh, mm, unfortunate. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. That's true. Oh, did he say that? <laughs> That's really good. So we're at level four. We need to get this to level eight. Protection from everything. Baby progenitus. Yeah, suddenly a four four. X -x -x. We need a blue source. Okay. Six cards entered the revealed zone. Winter's rest. Shoot. Another winter's rest and settle beyond reality. So what did they get? They've been that forest island. So they got double winter's rest. They got doubles winter's rest. Okay. They have two. So this at least debates the winter's rest. The prime order is not here yet, Luis. I think it was supposed to be here a bit ago, but it's not here yet sadly land please yes oh so sweet thank you louise banana banana mafia mtg thank you for the prime sub i really appreciate that i hope you're having an awesome day i don't think we really want to winter's rest that thing so let's just keep leveling up this hex drinker boop, 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 boop. i don't think we have anything louise it's bad. It's bad. Luis is very nice. It's, it is kind of sus. I was thinking, I was just thinking about that. Tree folk to keep my snake tapped. I accept. Okay, well, we are going to want a winter's rest there thing. Unless we draw land, in which case we want to do snowman. Hmm. Yeah. 
land. Oh, come on, man. All right, I'll just level up then, get it to level eight. Risky? No, we can get it to level eight. I could do that even with the astrolabe. I just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I wanted to play the other the other Arkham's Astrolabe. It's really good, Banana. Yeah, you should you should totally do that. Make sure you join the Discord and make sure that your account and your Twitch are connected so you can have access to the room. Conifer Weirm. I mean I think we just winter's rest the conifer we are and we just keep attacking with a hex drinker yeah so let me start by hitting the astrolabe and oh that's the wrong one and then we can rest the weirm oh finally thank god okay so let's do blue off of this and that rest you yes we're playing among us with viewers tomorrow nikolai tomorrow is my stream birthday celebration slash community day. It's going to be a wombo combo. Okay, and then the next thing is if they want to leave the tree folk. I guess the tree folk doesn't even do anything. It just has protection from everything. They can't really leave it back. Another Weirm. They're just going to try to race me, I think. But it's not going to work. They've got all snow creatures. Mono snow control. Um, how much snows do they have? They do have some amount of snow. Five snow. I could play my tree folk and just tap their thing. Yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow, Nikolai. I think that's going to be a really fun, both fun stream and also like, I've just been enjoying playing Among Us. It's been good times. So let's tap the Weirm. My thing's an 8-8, which is just going to be bigger than their tree folk. And then we can hit with a Hexy boy. Um, no, Dead of Winter looks awful, Bolt the Burb. This is a snow creature, this is a snow creature, and this is a snow creature. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it looks it looks very very bad. They have winter's rest in hand, but it's not a big deal. I just wanted to make sure we tap this because this is Frostlings for who knows. Yeah, all their team is snow, so it doesn't actually do anything. But they need to figure out how to deal with a hex drinker. Or they can't block it next turn. Protection from everything. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, the um, the golf with your friends was really fun. So Nikolai, the plan is to do a little bit of um, Fall Guys in the beginning. Or excuse me, we're going to start with Among Us and then I think we're going to switch to a little bit of Fall Guys at the end. Or if the Among Us games are great, we'll just play Among Us the entire time. We'll see. Um, but that's the plan. Wing Shards. Oh yeah, Wing Shards is like storm and make force people to sack creatures or something. That'd be bad. All right, let me wrap up this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another... Well, this is our first one on the channel, I guess. And the first one I've done, period. Um, Supreme Draft Modern Horizons Edition. I don't know how much I'm going to play this format. I don't... I think so. I've given Supreme Draft a chance. I feel like it's just maybe not... Maybe it's just not for me. Um, I think a lot of people feel similarly. It's just... It's fun, but it's not drafting so just makes it a little less fun because it's not normal draft yeah winds of abandon would get us there too <laughs> supreme draft is for people luckier than myself yeah sometimes you end up in a busted deck like i think this deck was really good and the match that we won was very close but i also feel like it just doesn't it's not what i like about draft so anyway thanks for watching everybody if you would like to support the stream and channel something super easy you can do subscribe also if you're shopping on channelfireball.com you can use the code gabby g-a-b-y to support this channel directly thanks for watching youtube see you later if you like this video you can subscribe for more and if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream that's on twitch.tv slash i stream every weekday in the afternoons mountain times see you later